Hey there, my fellow designers and creatives. Hope you're all doing well. This is Jaden here from Design Pala, and I am back again today with another video. This is going to be a pretty exciting video because we're going to be taking a look at an icon database or an icon organizer, or you could even call it as an icon library, exclusively for UI designers and visual designers. And there is going to be a giveaway and a promo code for this particular tool or software. So make sure to stick around. So without any further ado, let's get started. app.com so nuclear is basically like an icon organizer or a library to store all the icons uh, when you're designing the apps and websites is easy because you can drag and drop these icons onto whichever program you're using it could be sketch figma adobe xd uh, photoshop it's gonna definitely gonna work so uh, it's pretty cool like that now nuclear is available on the mac on windows 7 plus and also has a web app so you could use it directly on your browser now if you download the free version of nuclear you're gonna get a couple of icons but not the i all the icons itself but if you purchase the license which is a one-time license for unlimited lifetime and unlimited updates then you're going to get around 25,738 icons which is insane so if you take a look at the website this is basically giving you an idea of how it looks and what it does but we're gonna take a look at all the features one by one now they mentioned that it is specifically and most useful for designers um, teams who want to collaborate and share their icons and also developers because it allows you to get the code for the icon when you're designing the icon it's when you're developing the icon uh, you know in, in your code so uh, that's pretty helpful so we're gonna take a look at the pricing first and then we could take a look at the features all right, so now the individual license is a hundred dollars now as I mentioned before there is going to be a giveaway So I'm going to be giving away five licenses So if you want that all you have to do is mention in the comment section as to why you want it also make sure to leave a like I mean liking is not a rule, but you know, I'd appreciate it if you guys could like and share the video of course so comment why you want the license and there will also be a promo code or a discount code of some sort that everybody can use to get some sort of discount over your purchase so as you can see it says you get uh, 25,738 icons then you can use the icons in any number of projects and even get the SVG source files and you make a one-time payment and you are good to go now these guys were kind enough to give me the lifetime subscription uh, for free which was amazing and in exchange I have to make this review so I hope that you know they get a lot of benefit from this so thank you guys so much for helping me out all right and this is the team license which uh, contains for more than from 5 to 50 and you could all if you guys have a lot of designers then you could go and you know get, check out the extender license details but let's not get into that it also has a couple of testimonials if you guys want to check out so uh, that's it so let's take a look at all the features one by one and see how cool nucleo is all right, so this is the Nucleo app itself. This is the desktop app that I have downloaded. And let's take a look at the interface first. So on the top, we have the search bar where you can search for your icons. So if I go ahead and type in search, uh, which is because I want to search icon, you can see we've got a lot of icons that we can pick from. We can just go ahead and drag and drop this. I'll show you that in a minute. And you can choose for which grid size you want the icons. So because some of the icons look good on only that particular grid size, so if you want, uh, if you're working on an eight pixel grid, you would go for something that is 16 pixels or 32 or 24 or even 48 pixels, whichever you think looks good. And there are four filters over here, which is glyph, outline and colored. Now color is colored, of course. Outline is just outline with no fill and glyphs are icons which have a fill inside for those of you who don't know the difference. And you know, you could just go ahead and pick whatever you want. And as you can see, if I take this, I can drag it and I can drop it into any software that I want. Adobe XD, Figma, Sketch, Photoshop, you name it, you can do it. So I'll show you that a little bit later. And for example, when we go ahead and select one icon, let's search for this icon. It gives you some information about what the name of the icon is. And also there are a couple of tags. I'm just gonna type in reduce and it's going to you know give all these icons that we needed so you can go ahead and add in let's select any icon and you can add in any kind of tag for example you type in the word minus and that's going to add that tag to it so you can even go ahead and delete it if you want and you know and uh, that should be good enough now you can also go ahead and let's actually uh close this up and just load up everything 
let's click on all icons over here and let's probably just select uh, this uh, icon that we have and what you can also do is you have the ability to increase the stroke so as you can see it gives you this information that up to 16 pixels up to one pixel stroke with round corners and 24 and 32 pixel icons up to two pixel stroke and so on and so forth so I'm just going to uh, close this so you can see I can increase the stroke to a maximum of four because this is uh, supposed to be a 48 pixel icon I can click on the rounding to get rounding I want and I can also go ahead and change the color of this so it's gonna globally change the colors everywhere so something that you want to do is not change it over here you can change it in the tool that you're using so if I want I can go ahead and you know change the colors that I want and uh, you know it should be pretty good so I'm just gonna close this for now and uh, that's pretty good now you can also add a background to this uh, so that in case you guys want to see how the icons look on a particular background maybe your user interface is in a black color or a red color you can see how it looks so for example if my background uh, if I set that to black, you can see I'll have a look. So just, we're just going to set this to white for now. Now you can also add in a frame which comes along with the icon itself. So this sometimes helps you position the icons better. And uh, you know, you can space them, the margin and the padding. Uh, you can just get an idea based on the frame. So some people use it, some people don't, but it's there if you guys want it. All right, moving on. So you can also import icons. So for example, you have designed a custom set of icons that you want to use for a particular project. You could definitely do that. So we could go ahead and click on this plus icon, which is going to add in a new set. And I can just call this uh, demo for, you know, just the purpose of this tutorial. And I can choose which style it is. Uh, and uh, I can choose all of them to be glyphs, all of them to be outline, or if you set to auto, it's automatically going to categorize this for you. Now we want to understand what are the types of icons that can be imported. So on the website, you can see it says only SVG icons can be imported and you can either drag and drop SVG files, fonts, folders containing SVG files. So you don't have to drag the icons itself, SVG symbols, icon jar files and dot json files now json files are important because these are animated icons uh if you guys have used a lottie which is prepared by airbnb it's a framework for importing animations simple animations into your app or website so uh, that is about json files so let me quickly show you how this works so i've downloaded a couple of icon sets free icons from the internet and uh, let's see how to import it so I've got this set of free icons that I got from linearicons.com and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of this or let's actually go back. Let's select the SVG folder and let's drag the drop it into Nucleo and it's 170 icons and it's imported. All you have to do is click on create new set and it's going to do its thing. And as you can see, there is a bar at the bottom and you know, we have all these icons over here and as you can see, it does not have any tags. So if you want, you can go ahead and add in your custom tags, which is a pretty cool and all your icons that you wanted are here so um, that's phenomenal so I can just go ahead and delete this if I want and let's just keep it for now now if you go to the nuclear icons you can see that there are a lot of categories of icons there is also animated icons so if I go and search for animated loops you can see that we have loading animations uh, it's awesome all right guys, so here I'm in Adobe XD and I'm gonna show you the drag and drop uh, feature. So let me just, uh, you know, move this over to the side over here. And what I can do is let's go to some, the nature and animal section and we can just take this and let's go to Adobe XD and drag it and drop it. And you know, the icon gets imported. And since these are SVG icons, you can double click on it and you can edit the points and you can make any changes that you want. So uh, that's pretty good. All right, so that's pretty much about how the drag and drop works. All right, so let's go back to the all icons. And now the next thing you can do is you can favorite icons. So it's like saving icons. So if there are a couple of icons that you like and you wanna save it, you can just click on it and click on the star button. And you know, you could save the icons over here. And if you come over here to the favorite section, these are added and you know, you can just click on it to unfavorite it. And that's a pretty cool way of, you know, saving or favoriting few icons. Now, the next thing is you can also select multiple icons. And for example, you're using a set of icons for a particular project and you don't want to spend time searching for it. You can all, you can take them and put them into a single group. So what I'm trying to say is, for example, uh, you know, I like these two icons and uh, these three icons I can select holding down shift. I can select multiple icons and then I can click on this button. It says add to project and I don't see any options 
option because there isn't any project. I have to create one. So I can right click, go to add to project and choose my projects and choose a new project. And I can just call this uh, YouTube for example and I can create a project. And if I go to my project settings over here, you can see that there is a projects and uh, you know, I have all the icons that are over here. So for example, you're working on multiple clients, you're a freelancer, you're working on multiple websites, you could categorize them into client one, client two, client three, and you can make sure that only those icons are being used for that particular project. It's really handy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this because uh, I don't need it anymore, yes, delete. And let's come back to the main homepage. Now you can also see this gear icon below every icon. So if I click on that, what you can do is you can, you know, copy to set, move the icons to a particular set. You can add it to a project. You can change the style. So you can say that this is not a glyph. This is a outline or this is a colored icon. You can copy the icon obviously by copy seeing you by control C or command C. You can copy the SVG code. You can copy the JSX code and the VUE code. You can delete the icon and export it. We're going to talk about exporting now. So if I click on control E to export it, that's going to give me this option and I can export it in any form I want. And if you guys are mostly developers, you guys will kind of know an idea about all the different options and even if you are a person who works a lot with developers you guys would probably know all this i'm not going to explain everything but then you know you could just go ahead and export the icons you can add in the custom size that you want the icon to be and the padding so i'm just going to close this up you can also go ahead and click on this export button which is going to export it and if you go to svg sprite you can see you have a lot of options and svg symbol you have so many things which i don't want to talk about in this video uh, this is something that you guys probably would understand if you guys deal with all this stuff so now two more things is if you go to the settings uh, there are a lot of settings that you can do so when you export icons or export or when you dra drag out the icons you can choose in what format you want to export out the icons so that's really helpful then you know uh, you've got a couple of information over here and if you're storing icons uh, in a particular drive so you can change the location of the drive so then what nuclear is going to do it's going to go to that drive and pick the icons from there and you wouldn't have to import it as well so something that's really useful and the last thing is keyboard shortcuts now on the website there are a couple of shortcuts focus on search you press ctrl or command f and that's going to start searching for you you just have to type in you don't have to click on the search bar then reset filter show settings and all such stuff so that's pretty much it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to subscribe and leave a like for more amazing content like this and don't forget to enter the giveaway and use the promo code. If you have any questions or requests, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. So till then take care and bye bye.